Uniqlo has been good to me and there's a lot of pieces I tend to gravitate back towards and this is that video let's get into it Okay, so without a doubt, my most worn item is definitely this sling bag right here. This is the Block Tech shoulder bag. And this piece has just been there for me. Just take a look at the design. It's as simple as it gets with a ton of practicality. And the Block Tech technology makes these water repellents, although the water doesn't bead as much as it used to. It still keeps everything inside dry, which is still cool with me. And that's just kind of how it goes with DWR coatings and all that. You know, as a guy that lives in a big city, security matters a lot. Holding items that I buy matters a lot. And so with its zipper enclosure, quick access pocket for small items like my hand sanitizer, and a third axis stabilizer strap, this is definitely the go-to bag for city dwellers. I do have a tan version cinch bag that I also wear a lot, and you know, it's in a different colorway and all that. There is a black one as well if you want a similar look, but the piece just isn't water repellents like the Block Tech shoulder bag. And plus, there's not really a zipper, it's a cinch thing, so it's not really as secure, but it looks really cool. And since they don't sell them at the moment, you can find them secondhand, which I've been able to find a few. Now next up, we have the jersey shirt jacket and a similar version from the women's section. So the one from the men's section has your normal cut, while the women's section comes cropped. So depending on the situation, I wear these at different times. Either way, they both have a minimal look with a simple collar. And y'all just know how much I love these types of shirts. And they are both in the navy colorway. You know, black is always the go-to for sure, but I just wanted to switch it up. Navy is a color I don't have too much in my wardrobe. And I do like the subtle color difference on a fit rather than being uniformly black. And for the women's one, I did get it in a size large and the regular men's version is in a size medium. As much as I love a wild overshirt, you just can't beat the simple minimal one. Okay, so let's definitely talk about my trench coats from them now. So if you guys have seen my shorts, you guys would know I already talked about this gray one from Uniqlo. This is definitely my most worn out of all three of them. This is just from the regular Uniqlo U Spring Summer 2021. And also this Plus J Jill Saunders collaboration from last year as well. And honestly, these three trench coats are awesome. They all come in different lengths and different shades of gray or black. I typically wear the gray one the most as I find it the most versatile and a more refreshing garment compared to an all black one, which is still great of course. I just like the fact that when I'm super lazy, I just throw on an all black base and then this gray trench coat and it actually looks like I tried. The Plus J one is more so for winter because it is padded so there's extra insulation, you know, for a little bit more warmth. And it also feels very premium coming from the designer Jill Saunders. And this all black one right here is more so for content creation. You know, if I need a typical black coat for a certain kind of fit. But if I wasn't a creator, I would honestly just stick with the Plus J one and then the gray trench coats. And that's all I would really need because they're so reliable for basically every season but summer. Just as reliable as my new facial cleanser from Malin and Getz, the sponsor of today's video. You see, Malin and Getz has always been about simplicity. Just take a look at the packaging, but also the entire process of skincare. I've tried a lot of other skincare products that are great, but there's a lot of steps in the process. This one is as simple as it gets. I just have to lather a small amount, massage it onto my skin, and rinse. That's it. And then of course finish with my own moisturizer. So this facial cleanser starts off as a cream and then foams up very nicely while lifting up dirt and excess oil or even makeup. And it leaves my skin hydrated and supple. I like that word, supple. Anyways, I can always appreciate a scentless product. It's cruelty free and tested by dermatologists and they cover all sorts of hygiene from hair to deodorant or even a candle for your home. I might have to check out that dark rum candle scent myself. If that sounds great to you and you wanna pick some up, definitely click that link in the description. I've been using it and enjoying it myself along with their other products. And thank you Malin and Getz for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. move this down a little bit so up next we have the mandarin collar shirt i'm definitely obsessed with these kind of button-up shirts and they are very underrated as well so a mandarin collar is like your normal collared shirt, but there's no standing collar it just wraps around your neck this immediately leans towards asian streetwear of course the mandarin collar originates from asian cultures i've got black blue white and brown from the plus j collection and just the normal uniqlo u collection and i just love how these pieces can be layered and i love how nice of a switch up it is to the standard collar dress shirt of course this type of shirt doesn't replace a standard stand-up collar shirt, but in most situations it does, just not in business situations I'd say. But I guess that's up to you and how confident you are. It pairs perfectly with a coat and honestly, you can wear it with cargo pants, you can wear it with trousers, you name it. You're not really limited to just dress pants with these types of shirts. Alright, so now we have the basic hoodie. And so on the site they call this one their dark brown hoodie and uh, 
you know, I, I guess, but it's definitely not that type of color. It's more of a plum purplish color. A little bit of brown, a little bit of purple. And this one is oversized. And there's a good weight to it, which makes it feel much more premium. Super nice and cozy. And there's almost a weathered look to it, which provides a cool look rather than being just a simple solid color. Now, I wore this one all the time whenever I'd go walk my dog. It layers nicely and it can hold up on its own just as the main star of a fit. And because there's a gray undertone to this piece, I like styling with other gray undertone pieces or gray pieces as well. They just all kind of complements each other and it really looks cool. Okay, so y'all know what I'm gonna talk about next. It's the oversized errors and t-shirts. I have them in a ton of colorways, but my most worn are definitely the white and black pieces. Of course, the blue one as well. And I have the salmon colorway, the brown one, the purple. I wear them all pretty often. And at $20 for a shirt, you really can't beat that price for the technology, the fits, basically everything about it. At the time, they were $15, but you know, inflation. So Aerism is a technology that allows for breathability, quick drying, and prevents odor. Like at that price, it's got to be the best shirt of all time. And for those of you guys about to ask, I am 5'7", around 160 pounds, and I do get a size medium, and it fits perfectly on me. Because it naturally has a shorter hem to it, so it's great for shorter dudes like me. And as soon as it gets old or stains, I just wear them as a lounging shirt and if you're really old school like my parents they would use those types of shirts after it gets even more dirty as a lounging shirt they just use it as a rag i mean there's just a lot to love about this shirt it's affordable and very practical go pick up some of these if you haven't already now keeping with the airism theme we have the airism tank tops you get all the benefits of airism technology but in a tank top form so this was great for the summertime this is how i survived the summer out here in new york super humid and gross but yeah tank tops they always look great paired with a camp college shirt or a very light over shirts because the airism technology allows for breathability plus you have more skin exposed in your collar area so you can showcase your necklace you get more breathability in the pits and i don't think they sell these at the moment but they do have a ribbed version honestly any ribbed tank is totally suitable this one is from fruit of the loom but you guys spend your money however you want to spend it all right so next two pieces i wear a lot are these striped tees right here so this one I just picked up recently from the spring summer collection. This one I got from last year. They're both just striped shirts. Striped patterns in general are very versatile. You would think they don't pair well with other graphics or other patterns, but they actually do. They're more of a neutral pattern. And this one has big stripes with a lighter color scheme. And then this one is a more earth tone, cream and brown type of color scheme with thinner stripes. So now that we move from airism, let's talk about heat tech. So heat tech is basically the opposite of airism. It's more so for the fall and winter time, colder months. I wear their heat tech pieces a ton. This one is their regular heat tech long sleeve, super cozy, warm, and this is in a more burgundy colorway. And then I also have two more heat tech long sleeves. So I just wear them as an under layer piece whenever I wear them with a hoodie. This is like when it's super cold. And if I really want to top it off, this heat tech scarf from the Plus J collection keeps me super warm. What I love about it is there's black on one side, brown on the other so I can choose which side I want to showcase or I can layer it up like this and mix and match so it shows black and brown which is really really cool super cozy super warm I know my dog fur is all over on this but yeah I definitely recommend these types of scarves basically you get two scarves for the price of one and those are my most worn pieces from Uniqlo these are all pieces I bought with my own money okay Uniqlo I'd be happy to work with you just hit me up if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe follow me on Instagram and until then stay fly check out Malin and Getz for a nice facial routine deuces